Well, that bridge was way longer than I thought. Longer than the one through a tarn. True. I marvel at the masterful masonry of our ancestors. The bridge pass was built quite a long time ago. It is older than the oldest of our lore pertaining to that legendary hero. I can't even wrap my mind around how old that is. The Tailed from the East earnestly endeavored to enhance their relations with the human settlement in the West. Thus, they requested the Gaians to build a bridge that might connect them. And now we will be able to reach the Earth Elemental Gnome, thanks to the ancient Gaians and the very same structure. The drier it gets, the hotter the sun feels. At least we're on track to make it to the free city of Tsata. Then we charter a boat and make our way across the sea. Let's get going. Taking this? So, Sata, what's the luck? Your guess is as good as mine. I have not yet seen, but I'm equally excited to experience someone new. The elemental vessel is ready. Grizzly! Got some syrup! Getting to Guju is what matters. I'll take a raft if I gotta. Take 
We need to press on. Yes! Taking this? I think that banner is the symbol of the free city. Look! You can also see the lighthouse. I am certain this is Sata. What's that big thing a little ways off? Let's go in and see for ourselves what kind of city we're dealing with. Taking this? <laughs> Let's rest up! Are you newcomers? This is Tsata, the free city. As the name implies, you are free to live however you wish here. Enjoy yourselves. You may choose to stay for three minutes, three years, or even three lifetimes. So live it up. Whatever you want to do is up to you. Or I suppose it would be more accurate to say that in this free city, there is but one rule. No one should own material goods not shared with the rest. That's it. Cast aside your possessions, vestments, and land. All that belongs to one belongs to us all. What an interesting philosophy. Why assign ownership to things? The people in this city share their wealth so that all are wealthy. Our clothes are hand-me-downs, our dwelling's public. If your blade gets dull, borrow another from the shop. Leaky boat, we'll all pitch in. <laughs> Well, at least that means they have boats here. Let's see if we can get someone to ferry us to Guju. The customs here in Tsata sure are different. I should probably head to the pier if I want to ask about a boat. Nice! our next move. Taking this? Grizzly! Yes! Hmm.
selection. Come again. Hey there. Welcome. Peruse what welcome. Please peruse what we have. Only the best. Thank you for your patronage. Only the best. Thank you for your patronage. Only the thank you for your patronage. Only the best for our thank you for your patronage. Only the best thank you for your patronage. Only the best thank you for your patronage. Come again soon. Yes. Let me see. 
Is this? <laughs> Taking this? Got some syrup! Yes! Taking this? Yes! Let me see! Nice! one come this way after the fall of Guchu. I could say the same of you. Not many dragonfolk live outside of Longgren, so I've been told. Very true, very true! I'm practically one of a kind. Our laws state that only the appointed alm is allowed to leave the veil. Fuji's a rebel, that's what. I just had to see the mana goddess for myself, you see? So I threatened a traveling peddler and got them to sneak me out of Longgren. Threatened? Hang on a second. It's silly me. I, I meant begs. But wouldn't you know it? There are giant cliffs on the way to the mana tree. No way I could climb them on my own. Plus, the guards in the area ran me off before I could even get close. Since I didn't much want to go home, I wandered around for a bit and finally ended up here in Sata. Everyone's attitude suits me fine, and they love my style too. How's about staying here for a while yourself? With your style, I'm sure you'd be a hit too. I have to borrow a boat in order to get to Guju. There's something we have to take care of. Who should I talk to for passage? Are there rules for how to use the harbor? Rules? Nah, anyone can take one of the boats if they need it. But I think your luck has just run out. For a while now, there have been weird reports coming in from the sailors. What kind of weird? The sea may look calm now, but wait until the ship sets sail. Something strange happens to the waters. A wall of waves appears and blocks any boat that tries to get past. That's why it's been ages since anyone's made it out of the harbor. You're kidding. Nope, but don't pay it any mind. I'm sure the ocean will go back to the way it was eventually. Sorry, but I don't have the time to sit around. Maybe someone else has a better plan than wait. Now what? I don't know what to do. I should find the others and regroup. Where'd they go? I've seen a lot of dancers during my travels, and Karina's very skilled. She might be the best I've seen so far. <laughs> Morally, I don't think I've ever heard such a glowing compliment from you. Maybe you deserve an encore after all. Those two appear to be having the times of their lives. I do not think I have seen either smile so simply. Yeah, me neither. The at-ease atmosphere of Sata is incredibly infectious. Perhaps this change of pace came at the perfect time. Oh, I had meant to inquire about your investigation. Did you locate a suitable ship? It's not the ship that's the problem. Nothing has been able to set sail from Sata because of a huge wall of water. Forgive me, but why would the alms need to cross the ocean? The mana tree is not located on the earthen continent of Jutuona. Who are you? We have given up our possessions, but not our names. I am called Glyph. 
There is something we need in the Earth Village before we continue the pilgrimage. Glyph, do you know how to navigate this ocean? Whatever force created the Wall of Waves did not mean for mortal hands to rend it. Do not waste your time with futile endeavors. Continue your unfinished journey. That's the problem. We need help from the Elemental Spirit and Guju to get to the tree. Then I suppose this is it. We can no longer ascend the cliffs. Perhaps now is the time to retire the alms and suspend their duties. Such swift judgment! Do not the alms sacrifice themselves in order to divert disaster from all corners of the country? Disaster may be the unavoidable end to this ancient tale. I ask you, do we truly deserve prosperity in exchange for the lives of the alms? Humanity has only lasted this long because of the alms. That's not a pointless sacrifice. It's vital to our way of life. And honor is duly bestowed upon these alms from all settlements, except for this one. In Sata, we are free to do and think as we wish. How do you feel about this pilgrimage and its pilgrims? How does a soul guard see their charges? How do they see themselves in their role? Can you even answer these questions? My role as Soul Guard is to protect the alms from harm. Does it matter how I see them? Whoever is on the pilgrimage is my responsibility. Right? How did the alms pilgrimage start in the first place? And why do they need to sacrifice themselves to the mana tree to save us? Oren was asking the same questions. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I don't know the first thing about this world. We've got a ways to go on our journey, so... If there are answers out there, I mean to find them. Ooh... Palomina, how's your head? Do you need some fresh air? Thank you. That would be a welcome relief. The Cape is a lovely place to rest and clear your head. It's far enough away from the city crowd. Sorry to have ruined the mood with my mysterious malady. Don't apologize. I just want to make sure you're okay. We're not far, so take it easy on the way. Thank you, Val. Yes! Little cactus? Is this? Taking this? Grizzly! to me. Hey! Palomina! <gasps> Palomina! Come on! Snap out of it! What was I... doing?
Forgive me. It was such a sudden state of dizziness. Dizziness? You nearly went over the edge. That was a really close call. I heard a voice. Her lament was so... sad and solemn. What are you talking about? What voice? All I saw was a huge wall of waves. No wonder the ships haven't been able to set sail recently. Strange. The sound is the only thing that stands out in my memory. We should consult with Karina and Morley. I heard a voice, yet Val could not hear the same sound, and such a strange emotion welling up in my heart. What could it mean? Palomina, focus. One foot in front of the other. We can discuss this with everyone later. Glyph mentioned that you weren't feeling well. Are you doing any better, Palomina? Apologies for my abrupt absence. Val and I have to tell you two of the sight we saw from the Cape. Hang on. You still look pale. I think you should lie down at the inn for a bit. We can talk to the people here and dig a little deeper into the Wall of Waves story while Palomina recovers. I know this melody. I just heard it. Once very long ago, a prince and princess, sundered by walls of water, vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. How romantic! But wait! That sounds like the start of a poem. How does it end? Hmm. For some reason, I can only recall the start of the sonnet. The remaining refrains I cannot remember. Aww. But what do they do after they get to the temple? Val, the verse is the very same tune I heard on the cape. What does that mean? Maybe that ballad has something to do with the wall of waves. Like, one causes the other or something. If memory serves, there was a grand temple located near Tsata. That would be Tato Temple, I believe. It is on the waterfront to the west of here. Hey, let's make a detour and visit Tato Temple. It might clear a few things up. Right. Nothing will change if we don't take action. Let's prepare to head out tomorrow morning. Young Soul Guard. A word? Nothing good will come of visiting Tato Temple. It's rumored to be haunted, with monster nests infesting every inch of the grounds. The danger we face on the journey is all part of the job. We each have our duties to fulfill, and mine is being the Soul Guard. I haven't forgotten what you said, but I don't have an answer yet. All I can do is go forward and face whatever comes my way. <laughs> Brave words, Soul Guard. By the laws of this land, all we own belongs to everyone. We give and take in equal measure. This is the Salamando Candle, the Vessel of Fire. It was given to a hero of legend by the Goddess of Mana herself. Originally guarded in Tiania, over much time and many owners, the vessel came to us here in Sata. Now it seems right to entrust its firepowers to you. Thank you so much. Hopefully this will help us get through a haunted temple. May your endeavor be successful. Then what's we go to Tato Temple? The tales make it sound like a particularly perilous place. We should ensure that we are as prepared as possible. This city sees travelers from all around. I would assume that we have our choice of some good weapons and armor in the shops. 
should look around town to prep for the journey to Tato Temple. with this new strength. <laughs> Let's plan our next move. group of travelers that took the Salamando candle from Glyph, right? Uh, sorry for taking it from the city. Did you need it? Don't worry. No one here would begrudge you a candle. We have the sun in the sky and the stars in the firmament to light our way. But I did hear that Glyph let you leave without a single word of explanation on how to use the thing. Typical Glyph. Let me share with you what knowledge we've got about the candle. Good luck! Enjoy your haunted temple, and try not to get cursed, okay? See you on the other side! The free citizens were pretty accommodating after all. Yeah, they even gave us the Salamando candle! Will you be able to make the journey, Palomina? We can rest more if need be. A haunted temple, so they say. But what constitutes a haunting? Could be overrun with monsters, or maybe it has something to do with the wrong things. Either way, we won't know until we get back. <laughs> Easy. Hold on. I think I saw this in a book one time. this? Looks like I'm in luck, huh? Did people used to live around here in the past? I 
guess is yes. Just look at all the buildings. I wonder what it was like for them. Easy. Sir Karina, I was surprised. You were surprised? That was the first time you'd ever given me a compliment. A shame that I missed the show. I would love to watch you another time, Karina. Don't worry. I'll be sure to get you all dance with me next time. Wanna do this the hard way, huh? means I've improved. Look with the yeah. cats. Okay. 
getting excited. Nice! Probably Tato Temple. It looks impressive even from far off. This old thing looks run down. Is that the entrance? We might be able to enter from over there. Let's check. Taking this? the look of this monsters I can handle but this place has got to be crawling with ghosts huh? it isn't even ocean related we got to take a look either way it's our only lead about the wall there appears to be something ahead beyond the antechamber nothing is moving but we should continue with caution nonetheless It's hard to tell in this light, but there's something further in. Huh. It's a turtle. No, it's not. It's a statue of a turtle. Or perhaps a monster. It's the prince from the poem! Which would mean... This sculpture must represent the princess. I suppose I see it. The turtle seems to reach out toward the princess, like the prince would. Huh? Did you see that? Was that a tear? Statues can't cry. I do not see any tears. Are you suggesting that a stone carving can feel sadness? Come on, what was that poem you recited earlier? Once very long ago... A prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of mortar. Aha! A tear! I told you! I did see something shimmer around his eye. I surely stand corrected. It almost looked like it was reacting to your recitation, Palomina. I think you're on to something. Let's really give it something to cry about. Having fun at the turtle's expense, huh? Can you blame me? It's a crying statue! I want to make it ball like a baby! Palomina, where are you going? You do not hear it. Such a strange sound. She's acting like she did on the cape. Let's follow her. A crying turtle? A forgotten love poem? What is going on? Best to just let Karina and Palomina handle it. Taking this? Okay. Well, that was 
The voice from the Vista. Once very long ago, a princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince. But their love was forbidden in this instance. Forbidden love? Ooh, what's next? Tell me, tell me! Unfortunately, this particular passage is all I heard this time. I cannot attest to the rest. No way that was the end of the story. There are probably other things nearby that are kind of like this. Hmm. We should check another of the rooms. I'm a sucker for forbidden love stories. I gotta know what happened to those two. I too am immensely intrigued by this rhyming riddle. Let us resume searching the rooms. this relic, I recall yet another ringing refrain. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Oh, the suspense! He might let go! Ugh! How does it end? The statue in the other room is indeed reaching out his hand to his princess. It's acting out Palomina's poem. We have to keep looking. That's another room down. You doing okay, Morley? Uh, it's nothing. I'm just not accustomed to Karina's enthusiasm for this. <laughs> Looks like I'm in luck, huh? Oh, a subsequent stanza. 
Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. That liar! He said he'd never let go, and then he just up and left her? You might be too invested in this story. It does pluck at the heartstrings. Tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped, right? The princess's tears must have something to do with the wall of waves, but that's all I've got so far. How could he have let go of her hand like that? What drove them apart? I have to know. The adjacent antechamber may have some answers. Got some syrup! And so the love story between the pair played out. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. <laughs> How tragic! How cruel! The two lovers were torn from each other's sides! Karina is crying more than the statue. Just you wait until the turtle hears the whole tale. You'll see, he'll be sobbing way harder. Let's return to the hall and find out then, shall we? Something might have changed in the main room. I bet that turtle has fallen his eyes out by now. Would it be? Now we've searched everywhere. <sighs> it seems like the prince and the princess were broken hearted in the end. We should recite the entire story, and pray for their happiness in the next life. Once very long ago, a prince and princess sundered by walls of water vowed their love within the temple halls of Mortar. Once very long ago, a princess's heart soared as she danced by her prince, but their love was forbidden in this instance. Once very long ago, a prince said to his princess as they danced together, he would not let her slip from his grasp whatsoever. Once very long ago, a princess looked at her hand now unclasped, and her tears swelled like waves as in sorrow she gasped. Once very long ago, a prince remained trapped by the waves alone, waiting for his beloved dance partner to return home. May the two souls dance again together one day. Is the prince from the story supposed to be vengeful? Uh, that's not what I pictured. Verily, this is Vuskov, the sacred beast of legend. Vuskov? Vuskov? Who cares what his name is? 
He's coming right for us! His haste. We must stop his rampage. This one is very to realize this was a simple misunderstanding. Yeah. Does he want us to follow him? I think we should. He's headed for the coast, I think. Don't fall behind!
He is trying to tell us something. But what could it be? We'll know once we catch up to him. Come on! to the flagpole, or you'll get tossed overboard. There's another one. Another Vuskov. Two lost lovers together at long last. A fairy tale ending fit for a pair of sweethearts. And the prince and the princess lived happily ever after. And so the tale ends for our heroes. Or whatever. Hey, look! I see land! I bet it's Jutuona, the earthen continent. Thank you. Huh? Is this flute for me? And continent, you say? Jutu Ona was once bustling with people and commerce, like any other continent. No sign of that kind of life here. This harbor's falling apart. Gnome just doesn't have the same power as he used to. There's no time to waste. Let's head to Guju and find Gnome. Prince found his princess. That's a relief. They look so perfect going off together. I, I almost started crying. <laughs> now that we're here, I can head to Guju and find no <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Guju. The Earth Village looks vacant. Not a single townsperson left to talk to. Unsurprising. But... how did it get this bad? Reports recount that the Alm of Earth was never chosen, causing the village to vanish. Do we have to stay here? I don't like this whole... Uh, abandoned village aesthetic. Let's check the area for leads. Even if the people are gone, no might still be around. Let's go find Gnome. Or at least a friendly face. Maybe Eliza could help. A survivor? Should we approach them? As long as your shirt's not a ghost. What's that? Oh, bless my beard! <laughs> Y'all scared me clean out of my boots! You merchants? Prospectors? Hold on a minute. Well, shave my toes and call me a poto. Y'all are a party of alms making the pilgrimage. Sorry to bother you, but we're looking for Gnome. Our patron elemental? I suppose it ain't my place to pry into the affairs of alms. Oh, I plum forgot to introduce myself. I'm Watts, guy and miner and probably the only person you'll be seeing around here. Do you mean to say that not a soul elected to stay in the settlement after the Calamity? What about Liza? Orin said she survived the disaster. Is Liza still here? In Guju? You might as well head to the Eastern Plateau and see for yourself. Let's stop by the Plateau while we search for Gnome. Let's make a loop around the village and then head to or the Eastern Plateau. Taking this? This is kinda exciting. Nice! Taking this? to you so she was another victim of the disaster guess what Liza I became a soul guard like you and Hina was named the Alma Fire we set out on the pilgrimage together but well a lot happened since then you taught us so much but I still don't understand. Why did everything fall apart? Around here, we got a saying. Soil that once brought life turns all to dust and stone. Four years ago, our gal Liza tried to leave the village before the Soul Guard arrived. It was right after she'd been named the Alm of Earth. You mean she ran away? Yep, with that husband of hers, Orin. Without the Earth's blessing, most of the villagers turned into golems. And you see how Liza ended up. That's crazy! Liza would never run from her responsibilities! 
She was a soul guard, the best in the village. She understood the alms sacrifice better than anyone. Way I see it, everybody's gotta make a choice. Gotta decide what matters most to them, be it duty, tradition, or something else. We Gaians put a lot of stock in tradition. In fact, I'd say we're more stubborn than most, set in our ways like a gemstone fused to rock. So when Liza moved here from a far-off settlement blessed by fire, not Earth, well, some people kicked up a fuss, that's for sure. Poor Liza. Orin tried to leave the village then, too. Didn't want to deal with the bigotry. But Liza put her foot down. She couldn't stand to pull Orin away from his work. You see, he was the best ceramicist in town. Made all our ceremonial urns and the like. Liza was always interested in traditional cultures around the world. She loved the Fairies Festival, too. She threw herself into the study of Earth, wanted the villagers to see how serious she was. Liza became more knowledgeable about Earth and ore than anyone for miles. Nothing for it but to accept her as one of Guju's own and give our blessings. And that's when she was appointed the Alm of Earth. Sure as you're born. The fairy and the spirits recognized her love of all things earthen and deemed her worthy. The whole village was proud as punch, let me tell you. But in the end, the two lovebirds chose each other. Guess I see where they were coming from. They worked hard to build a life here. Couldn't throw that away. Sounds like Orin and Liza had a tougher time than I thought. Y'all got your reasons for coming out here to Guju. I might not be much help, but I'll tell you what I know of Gnome. First off, he ain't been seen in these parts for a while now. At least not since I came back to the village. Only other place I can think of to check is the Gamurda Mines. The mines, huh? Yep, they're northwest of the desert outside of Guju. Can't miss them. The mines are abandoned. Or I guess you could say repurposed as monster nests. Can't stand the place, but I ain't never been one for fighting. Quit the patrols after three days. Don't worry, I wasn't about to let you go off without some help. Here, take the gnome shovel. I've been taking care of it as the last remaining villager of Guju. Maybe this elemental vessel will guide you back to its original owner. Thank you. We'll do our best to find Gnome. Who knows? If he comes back, it might even revitalize that stone friend of ours. Eliza again. But what was the point of it all? Focus on Gnome. I can't let grief get in the way of my mission. of the elements.
This is just the beginning. Spirits are calling to me. to check northwest of the desert. Gamurda mines were once renowned for its supply of ore. Can't imagine it's seen any action in a long time. We gotta be careful. Where to next? Unseen challenges await us. Watch yourselves, everyone. <laughs> saw this in a book one time. I wish there was something I could do for Liza. But without a miracle, we're left with only wishes. No one might have some more to Activate! I'm 
brimming with power. This is kind of exciting. Is this? Time to shine. <laughs> Watch yourselves, everyone. Go, go. <laughs> Ago. Uh, they look more like they've been abandoned for decades. With the loss of the blessing of Earth, the land itself seems to have become barren and lifeless. Bad enough to feel the effects all the way at the Dead A Cliffs. You can see what a beautiful town Guju must have been. I heard the mines were rife with gems and ore before they were closed too. It's a shame we couldn't see the village in its heyday. <laughs> it's so dusty, I can hardly breathe! There are definitely... Oh, there monsters in here, too. Watch out! Fulfill my duty at the Soul Guard! No double! <laughs> Gnome Shovel causes a reaction in minor monsters. It looks monstrous, but it's not attacking. Maybe this golem is here to assist us. Shall we test that theory? Golem is impressive. I bet it can do something about the rock mechanisms. It seems strong enough to me.
It opened. Now we can move forward. The gateway is indeed inviting. Shall we proceed? Yes! condition of my fur after this foray.
Is the power of the Earth Spirits heading toward the tower? Something might have activated. We should endeavor to return to the entrance. That's the second one, right? Let's go back and check. Honestly, this place feels more like ancient ruins than work time.
This is kind of exciting. This might be useful. We've tried what we can. Now what? We can go in, I guess. <gasps> Something tells me this was a bad idea. Hurt? Just my pride. The Earth Spirits disappeared into the tower. The ancient Gaians might have made the structure for the spirits originally. Do you figure there's something else in there? Yeah, probably. Maybe we can find a way in like before. Let's look around the area. Goodness, the spirits have gone into the tower. Do they want us to go after them? Maybe Noma's in. Why did they need to make everything so complicated inside this mine? The Gaian economy is based on mining. Maybe they felt protective over their resources. That makes sense. My dad never liked people messing around in his workspace either.
How did you get there? Taking this? Places we can go now. Let's try them out. I still can't believe the guy and people made all this. These have to be historical sites of great import. If only a guy and associate were available to ask about them.
Hmm. Just one place left. Yep. Let's keep this up. Did that noise come from the center of this thing? We might be able to enter the tower now. Let's go. A way down. That's all the invitation I need. The spiritual power here feels strange. Stagnated. I don't like the sound of that. Well, let me check on my stock of items and gear. Let's plan our next move. I thought my mind was playing tricks, but no, there's something here. Quite the overwhelmingly oppressive presence. We didn't come this far underground to get scared off now! Show yourself! Oh. <laughs> here it comes! What beat moles are you have? That's not like any mole I've ever seen. Careful, everyone! Feelings to pop! <laughs>
I'm no expert, but that looks like a mineral deposit to me. Perhaps Gnome's power isn't as weak as we feared. If the Earth still has life, then Gnome's gotta be around somewhere. Keep searching! What are you talking about? I'm right here! Woo-wee! Jewel Eater done gone and made a mess of this place. Gnome, I would guess? Now ain't that a sight for sore eyes? Alms, in my mind! What can I do you for? We were looking for you! What are you doing hiding out in a monster's lair? Did you want to get eaten? What do you mean, monster lair? This here mine is mine! 
Not my fault that Jewel Eater came and gobbled me up whole. Hang on. You were inside that thing? Glad we arrived when we did. So am I. Jewel Eater was sucking the Earth dry of all his leftover mana power. Now that it's gone, everything ought to balance out. And I got a bit of the old pep in my step again. What doesn't kill you, I guess? What? <laughs> Nap time's over, though. Time for me to resurface before another monster gets hungry, if y'all foller. Don't dug up an elemental in the mines. Chomping pumpkins. People still live in Gucci. Must have been underground for too long. I figured y'all left once the village was destroyed. Gucci's seen better days, to be sure. But now that you're back, gnome, maybe. Sorry to say, but my powers just ain't what they used to be back in the day. About that. We actually came to ask for your help, Gnome. The soil in Dede won't grow anything. If our jack seed won't sprout, we can't get up the cliffs and make our way to Elusia Isle. Is there anything you can do? Aha! So that's why y'all went out of your way to find me. Well, I hate to disappoint my fans. Rise and shine, my little earth spirit. These servants of mana need your help. Lend them a hand now, you hear? Ah, uh, does the ground seem warmer to you? Fire! That ought to fix your plant problem. Couldn't you have used this power to keep Guju from falling? tapped out of man at this point, and without an arm to replenish it, well... Soil that once brought life turns all to dust and stone. What turns to stone stays stone, I'm afraid. Then... there's nothing we can do for Liza? Guju is gone! About time y'all quit worrying about the past and start focusing on the lands that still have a chance, if you ask me. It's time for you to go back to the Dead A Cliffs. It's a long way yet before you reach the mana tree. A poignant reminder of our remaining responsibilities. Cheer up! Y'all are a beacon of hope to people like us. <laughs> Word of the new Alm of the Moon managed to reach all the way out here. Huh? How did you hear about that town? Merchants travel here and there, bringing wares and stories alike. All I know is that for 16 years, there's been no Alm from a town. But if the parish can come back after so long, why not Guju? There may even be hope for dear Liza yet. Please, take care of Liza for me. You worry about yourselves. We can take care of our own. Give the goddess a holler for me. <laughs> Time to head back to Dede. The jack seed should sprout now. Let's go back to the Dede Cliffs. What? How are we getting back over there? There's only an ocean between us. Shall we survey the situation at the northern shore? nearby. Oh, try out the fairy flute. You should be able to hear it.
needed, safe and sound. Might I suggest we meet with Mola Bay at the garrison as soon as possible? Glad to be back. It feels like we were gone for ages. This time, we'll make it to the top of the cliffs for sure. We better. I didn't spend all that time over in Guju for nothing, you know. Yes! I don't feel any power from the Earth Spirits, yet. When the ceremony commences, we shall see a difference, I am sure. You have a point. Do you think it'll go any better with the seed this time? With Gnome's blessing, I think the soil will have enough power. It'll work, now that we have him on our side. I am prepared to climb if this fails. You do reap what you sow, as they say. You heard the Queen. Be prepared for any outcome. Please work. We gotta get to Elusia. You're back. I can feel a change in the energy of the soil. We should attempt the watering ceremony one more time. Spirits of Earth, we beseech you. Bring life forth from this barren soil. Guide the alms over the cliffs and to Elusia beyond. your core stone. I swear. Not many people venture this far. There may not be many methods of restocking our packs. Con Alms. Soul Guard. Milos Woods lies just beyond the cliffs. It is a vast and treacherous jungle. Within the forest, you will find Verdius Burrow, hidden home of the Sproutlings. It is one of them who will become the Alm of Wood. Once the Alm joins your party, you will be that much closer to the Mana Tree. You are well on your way to ensuring the survival of our world. Safe travels on the road to Elusia. 